government Let's within the robot. Let's the and sacrifice them to the I robot. say we invade it. <laughs> this right the Earth only has about two weeks left. If that thing walks into a populated area, there will be a major catastrophe. We need our top scientific minds on this. Get India on the phone. Can we transport the United States to a safer planet? I say we give this alien a green card and make him proud to be an American. Sir, it's a dire times like this when I stop and ask myself, what would Oprah do? Hang it all. What's the point? It's a disaster. Stop! Stop. 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 That button launches all of our nuclear missiles. Well, then which button gets me a latte? Uh, that would be the other one, sir. What idiot designed this thing? You did, sir. Fair enough. Wilson, fire somebody. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Listen up. I'm not going to go down in history as the president who was in office when the world came to an end, so somebody think of something and think of it fast. That is a good cup of joe. Mr. President! Not only do I have an idea, but I have a plan. You all! Now, conventional weapons have no effect on this thing, and we all know nukes ain't an option. Sure they are. I just, uh... No! 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 no, 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 no wait! I'm not gonna kid you, Mr. President. These are dark times. The odds are against us. We need a Hail Mary pass. We need raw power. We need... Monsters. Monsters, of course! It's so simple. I... I'm not following you. Over the last 50 years, I have captured monsters on the rampage and locked them up in a secret prison facility. So secret that the mere mention of its name is a federal offense. Is he referring to Area 50? <gasps> Mr. President, say hello to Insectosaurus. <laughs> Miss Ronson, please. Nuclear radiation turned him from a small grub into a 350-foot tall monster that attacked Tokyo. Here we have the missing link. <laughs> a 20,000-year-old frozen fish man who was thawed out by scientists. He escaped and went on a rampage in his old watering hole. This handsome fellow is Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D., the most brilliant man in the world. He invented a scientific machine that would give humans the cockroach's ability to survive. Unfortunately, there was a side effect. <laughs> now, we call this thing Bob. <laughs> Someone get her out of here! Thank you! A genetically altered tomato was combined with a chemically altered ranch-flavored dessert topping at a snack food plant. The resulting goop gained consciousness and became an indestructible gelatinous mass. And our latest addition, Ginormica. <clears throat> General, continue. Her entire body radiates with pure energy giving her enormous strength and size. Sir, these monsters are our best and only chance to defeat that robot. Don't we already have an alien problem, General? I don't think we need a monster problem, too. You got a better idea, nerd. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Stay where you are. <clears throat> General, I propose we go forward with your monsters versus aliens idea thingy.